This is a quick video to show how to separate the first and last names from the file you download from your attendance list in Teams. To do that quickly in Teams, you would click on Participant while you're in the meeting. You click on the three dots and you click Download Attendance List. Again, that needs to be while you're in the meeting. Um, if you happen to click out of it, usually you're not able to do that at that point. That file will download in your Downloads folder on your computer. Once you open that up, it is an Excel file. So I wanna show you real quick how to separate the first and last name here. Um, that's super helpful for whenever we're doing maybe grades or we want to be able to, to sort this by last name. Right now, obviously, that's not the way that it comes. Um, the other thing I need to say is that these are not my actual students. These are made up names, um, so we don't have to worry about FERPA or anything like that. The first thing you want to do is go right here on column B, highlight column B, and then right click and insert a new column. Second, you want to highlight column A. From there, you're gonna to go to the top and click data, and then find the option that says text to columns. We're gonna click that. A pop-up box will open. We're gonna keep the delimited format and hit next. Yours likely will have the tab option clicked and the space not clicked. So this is probably what yours looks like when you first go to it. What we want to do is unclick the tab and make sure we click the space. And that's because our data is separated by spaces. Um, so that's how we want it to divide the information. So we're gonna click next now. And I'm gonna hit text. And this destination tells me this is gonna start from A1. So it's gonna start at column A, row one and continue down from there. Um, so that's pretty much it. And you hit finish and it will separate the information. So if you wanted to then sort these by last name, then I would highlight starting with the first person. And I usually go back to home and click sort and filter. And I like to use the custom sort because I'm going to add the first one by last name, which is column B, and that's gonna sort A to Z, and then I'm gonna add another level, and then I'm gonna do it by column A, so it will sort the first name A to Z. So what it's gonna do is, if I have multiple students with the same last name, it will put those in order and then sort within the last name by their first name. So when I click OK, we have it sorted. Okay, and then you now it's in order for whatever you need. And that's pretty much it. Hope this was helpful. Bye.